Welcome to On The Buzzer, we're back guys. Do you have the like this? It's Christmas time guys, it's Christmas time. A lot of giving, a lot of presents we're this week. set like Christmas decorations? Can we get some? Just to put us in like a festive mood right now? Yeah, just go make his reindeer on. outfit. Make his brown? It's funny. We'll have it anyway guys. We'll have it. Let's go. I think that was very funny, I thought that was neat. Let's start, uh, a lot of games happening this week, some some disappointments, some, uh, some, 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 something. Let's go, let's go, let's we, let's go, go dude. We all, want to try, we all want to talk about this one, Miami Dolphins get their first win. Edge, right here, baby. Come yeah, on, guys, right bitches. Right Come on, dude. Right here, baby. The Baltimore Ravens, right quite possibly the worst team in the league, just got worse. And Miami Dolphins, they're just not special anymore. The Baltimore Ravens quit. They quit on their coach, they quit on their fans, they how quit. Cool, how cool would it have been had they beaten the Colts, uh, not the Colts, the Pats? And then, lost. and then lost to Miami. That would have been pretty cool. That would have been a cool stat to have. That would have been. Are you guys for the fire Brian Billick bandwagon? How did you just jump to that all of a sudden? Because no. he's the coach of the Ravens. I don't know if I'm for oh, the fire. We're talking Brian coaches, we're not talking about just the game. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything to talk about? Okay, let's talk about the game. Should they have gone for it? On fourth and a foot. When, instead of no, instead of going for the game tying field goal, should they have gone for it? Should they have shown some big balls, Pete, if you will? No, it's no, not they, they, don't be, they don't want to be that team, you know. No, you want to win it. You're not playing for anything, and at the end of the day, in overtime, you lost the game. Cincinnati Bengals a Saturday game at the Niners, guys. You guys took the Bengals. 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 Uh, uh, Who did you take? Uh, I said Niners with the points. Niners with points, and not only did they take the points, but they won too. The F awesome. Cincinnati. <laughs> That's my new thing. It's a F Cincinnati. Time edge. I want yeah. to just say Christ, that. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, let's talk about Denver Broncos. Uh, this was the first game of the week, uh, Thursday night, at the Houston Texans. Denver, another bust. Denver sucks. 31 to 13. Thank God Denver's not making the playoffs this year. That's a big time waste of a playoff. Houston's spot. not a bad team. They, they got some potential. Mario Denver, Williams. They start Mario Williams looking like the true <laughs> number one pick. I don't know about true number one pick. Nine and a half sacks on the season. But he's doing pretty good. Let's he's solid. Down. He's solid. He's doing it. Which takes us into the Bushless Saints. Tearing it up with our Reggie Bush for the second week in a row. Aaron Stecker. Two touchdowns, almost 150 solid. yards. On the ground. On the buzzer. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Try not to uh, 150, we'll to the game 150 game. yards total and two touchdowns. I mean, he's doing it. The Saints are rolling without Bush. They look How many like carries did he have? That's what I'm. I'm not gonna protect. I'm not gonna. 320. No, I'm not gonna protect Bush. Carries. Tell me how many carries he has. 20 something carries. Okay, 20 something points. carries. Now, if you line him up as a running back for a couple of games and only give him carries, I want to see what Bush can do. I are we looking at an Aaron Stecker Reggie Bush combo next season? Why not? Maybe maybe dangerous Why combo not? for the Saints. Why, not? Why haven't we seen? No, a Stecker and Bush combo this year. Deuce McAllister. No, Deuce McAllister has not been playing. But he told them, don't play Don't play Stecker. <laughs> Guys, let's move on. Let's talk about a game that I thought was a little anticlimactic. Where did you learn a big word like that? Uh, Edge told me before the game. Uh, uh, the New England Patriots no, that was climax. beat... <laughs> yeah, so, uh, uh, tell me when you climax. <laughs> or before. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop it! Dude. What? You Stop brought it, it up! Get one Guys, the New England Patriots... Beat the Jets 20 to 10. Nothing special about this game. They shook hands afterwards. Blah blah blah. Awesome game. This awesome happened. game. You're awesome. I'm sorry. They were supposed to win it. They won it. Next. Yeah. You're right. Uh, let's but one key component of this game, New England showed that they can do it on the ground. Tom Brady. Let's Nordrum. go. Dude. We knew. We knew they could do it on the ground. They did it against the Jets. They could have done it any way they wanted. Bad condition. Thanks for stopping us to give us that. <laughs> you got it. Let's talk about this team. Just when we all picked this team, we all got go it. Go ahead, go ahead. The what New York you? Giants lose at home to the Washington Redskins. Jeremy Shockey out for the season. Broken leg. 22 to 10. Is it just me or is that guy always hurt when it comes playoff time? Who cares about that? But Washington slowly becoming a good team. They're not as bad as their record shows. Well, listen, they're, they're not that far out of playoffs. They still have a chance. But a small chance. They've lost a couple of games the last second all year, you know? Yeah. I like Jason Campbell. Quick, what school bitches? How about Tony? Quick, bitches! How about Todd Collins? Who Quick, was bitch! Don't talk me about injured quarterbacks that he wasn't in the game. Jason Campbell. He didn't play! What school? school? Say it, bitch. Say he doesn't know. know what? Why are you talking me for yeah, that? Dude, you know why you're getting one. Just for the what record, was it? he hasn't yeah. played for I'm three games. Let's no. move on. I don't care if he hasn't played. It's not three games. How many is it? Two and a half. Get this guy out of here. Let's talk about San Diego Chargers. This is what we've all been waiting for. Promote North Turner. Promote North Turner. Promote North Turner. Go North Turner. 
Ta -da. They finally realized, hey, let's give LT the ball. 51. Listen, it took the guy a few games, but hey, he, f he figured it out. I think LT took the second half off, and his backup came in and rushed for more than he did, and another couple touchdowns on top of that. That's how sick that team is. Aaron is quick. What's cool? <laughs> let's move on. I'm on it today. I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> Someone over here said the Raiders were going to win this weekend. Who was it? Oh, I don't know what they won. Come on, Ronald. They lost the game, but I think it was more. He met was a moral victory. Twenty-one to fourteen, which I got. Twenty-one against to fourteen Colts. against the Colts. It's a moral victory if you're. How would you pick the Raiders to win? Listen, it's not like they got blown out. Just the same way as I picked uh -huh. Miami to win. Okay, so like you know, you just throw darts, and one of them like is bound to land. He's more bowling darts. <laughs> You don't bowl with two hands, by the way. <laughs> Guys, let's talk about one more game. Green Bay at St. Louis. This is the real team of the NFC right here. Easy. Green Bay Packers, 33 to 14. They showed the Rams what they're all about. Not that the Rams are much showing, you know, but they did it. They did it. So you guys got something to say about that or no? I don't want to care about Brett Favre breaking the record. Brett Favre, at huh? the end of the day, is going to own every record. He's got a championship ring. You're going to talk about... Go ahead. Can we talk about Brett Favre as one of the best of all time? Maybe yes. even like up there? Of course. Yes. I can't even believe you're asking that question. Maybe um, even the best? Maybe even. For now. Are you giving him the best? For now I am. Over Broadway, Jim? You know, what makes him, you know what makes him really good is that the guy almost retired. Yeah. And he came back and he's kicking ass. Last year, I remember both of you guys were singing like the whole Last year, I was Brett, like, Brett Favre retired. played another three years. That's what you I know said. what it is? I don't like the attitude. Come play. These guys are pros. They'll catch the ball if you throw it to them. Whose attitude? Brett Favre's. I don't know. He's got a fantastic I attitude. Boss. I want this guy. I want that guy. He's uh, uh. got one of the best attitudes in all of NFL. Let's talk about the Jacksonville Jaguars. Another game we all picked wrong. We took the Steelers. I was and dumb. Man, we're good. F it's for real. Jacksonville's a good team. Yeah, for real. Jacksonville for real. is for real. The second best running game in the league. Fred Taylor. MJD, Mojo Drew. MJD doing it. Probably the best one-two combo uh, in the league right now. I'd say the second best one-two combo behind Stack Chester Taylor, Taylor and Adrian Peterson. Mm, yeah. How does Roethlisberger only pass for 100, like 40 something? You hate Roethlisberger. It's, you know what bugs me? Yeah, you know what bugs me? I don't care about that. that. Don't you think an NFL quarterback should throw for at least 200 a game? It's not his fault they, they, they Give me that. lost this game. At least 200 a game. I agree. No, I mean, you throw 140 yards, it's like ridiculous. It's a couple of little out patterns. Uh, it, it was snowing. Like it was screens, snowing. you can get 150 yards. It was yards. snowing big time, man. You gotta give the guys some credit. Pittsburgh's first home loss of the season. As let's talk about another game. This one actually caught me by surprise. The Dallas Cowboys. Oh, it caught you by surprise. Yeah. Not the entire nation, <laughs> just you. Just me. Tony Romo. Tony Romo. Jeff Tony Romo. And let me, hold on a second. Remember when I told you there's something about Dallas that scares me in the playoffs? You did say that. It's because of that. Tony Romo and his freaking Jessica, Jessica Simpson, Simpson curse. For him. That's what it is. He had his worst game of the season this year with Jessica Simpson in the crowd. But in fairness to Romo, is he allowed to call an audible at the line of scrimmage? It's a yes or no question. Yes. Yes. yes or no question. Yes. Okay. If you're having a bad day, if the coach is an idiot and isn't running the ball, can you go up to the line of scrimmage and just change the play and make it a run play? They threw the ball every single time for and the last a, like two hours. He had a bad thumb. Nobody and he couldn't grip the, the ball. Thumb. I don't care what it was. Good thumb, thumb, bad thumb. If you're having a bad thumb, you can't run the ball. They had problems in their play calls when they were 12 and 1. Okay? Now, they said that one bad game with the Eagles. And then for the ball, same reason the why the Patriots ball, are having a bad day throwing it, they run it 35 times, Terrell and they show Owens. that they can beat you on the ground. Terrell Owens is bubbling to the surface. Yeah, what what, what time guys, is it? You is guys, it time for T.O.? You guys it's smell it? Really you smell it coming? Give him the ball. Give him the ball. Get out of here. They, they threw it to him 11 times, 12 times. Suck it in. Suck it in. Yeah, yeah that's T.O. Give, give him the freaking ball. They tried throwing it to him. The idiot slipped and it was okay, that's his fault. He slipped. No, it's not his fault. No, it's, it's the his quarterback's fault. fault. Let's wrap it up. Guys on him. Get out of here. Uh, let's talk about one more game. Cleveland 8-0. I like that. I like the score 8-0. Bad conditions. Chances. Cleveland. They were nearly locking up a playoff. I'm down with an 8-0. Yeah, I am too. Eight eight the hard way too. Eight eight the hard way. Yeah. Four yeah. and four. Yeah. Yeah. Hard eight, baby. Hard eight. That's right. And finally another team. Tennessee. Hey. Hey. How in the world did they score 26 points? We all took the cheese by the way. to play. Yeah, he did. And well, it's about he was doing it. He was doing it. Like, this, this is for you, man. Yeah, this, this is why he was the number three pick or whatever it was. 190 yards. Wow. Quick, what school? What school? We're running out of time here. Uh, watch out for our picks for week 16 on the buzzer.com. They promise to be as good as the last picks. You got it.